morning and welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I have lots to tell you. So you saw that I prepared my breakfast. These are my egg cups that I made in my meal prep on Monday. If you miss meal prep, check it out. That's where these are from. They're delicious. And then I had a pretty ripe kiwi that I chopped up and then a quarter cup of blueberries. This is a perfect breakfast, lots of protein, good carbs with fiber post-workout. Yes, I went to boot camp this morning. More to come on that. So I usually film in the car on my way to boot camp, but this morning I was putting my tennis shoes on and I got a text from Julia, the boot camp instructor, that her three-year-old had woken up and if she leaves to come teach boot camp, her three-year-old would have had a meltdown. So she asked if I could lead boot camp doing our 10-10-10, which is basically 10 exercises, 10 reps of each, 10 times. And then we take a lap in between each round of 10. So I was busy messaging her back and forth, trying to figure out how to navigate that, how to lead the class. So I didn't film in the car because I was busy texting with her, figuring out what we were going to do for boot camp. Luckily, one of the girls brought a board that had our exercises on it from the last time Julia wasn't there. And we had to kind of wing it for boot camp. So we just did that. And it was a fantastic workout. I'll actually insert my Apple Watch screenshot here. I still had a really, really good workout. Despite no instructor, I still had an amazing workout. Also, I'm still sick. It has been a week and a few days and I am still sick. I'm still blowing my nose, not a thousand times a day, now like 500 times a day. I think, no lie, this is probably my fifth box of Kleenex that I've went through from being sick. Now I'm in the phase of coughing up gunk out of my chest. So I don't know why, I don't know what cold I have and why she's hanging around so long, but I'm so ready to not be sick anymore. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't really feel sick. The only other symptom I have besides blowing my nose and coughing up a bunch of gunk is I'm a little bit more tired than normal. I'm sleeping a little bit longer at night. I'm going to bed a little bit earlier. You know that I'm in perimenopause and I have the issue where I wake up and have a hard time going back to sleep. I haven't had that issue and some of that could be the NyQuil that I take at night, but I've been sleeping really good and I've just been a little bit more fatigued and tired. I've been having a day in between my workouts just because I physically am too tired to do a workout every day. So I just need this cold to go away so that I can get back to my regular workouts so I can feel back to normal. But for everybody who's asking how I'm feeling, I'm still sick, unfortunately. You can even see just how red and dry my nose is. I'm telling you, ChapStick has saved my life. I actually put this on my nose all the time just to help it from being so chapped and so. And another reason why I want to feel better besides just feeling better in general is my friend Amy, who I had cosmetic surgery with, who I just saw in Atlanta a few weeks ago, is flying in on Thursday tomorrow to spend the weekend with me. Her boyfriend has a side gig, a side job at the airport because he's always his whole life wanted to work at the airport. So he's been working there on the weekends and in the evenings outside of his normal nine to five job just for fun. Well, he's going to be resigning from that position. It's just, it's too much for him to have two jobs essentially. But before he does, they were taking advantage of all his flight benefits. So they just went to Florida right after we left Atlanta and Amy's coming here to hang out with me. And so he's flying her here on his flight benefit for the weekend. So I need to feel better because we have a lot planned. Amy is super active just like I am. We actually, I want to take her to climb Tumamok, the mountain that I climb in Tucson. We want to hike. She's going to come to boot camp with me on Friday. And we're going to sit down together and film a Q&A on our cosmetic surgery procedures. So we will be a year post-op in May. So just a couple months shy of being a year post-op. I can't even believe it. We want to give you guys scar updates. Amy had a 360 tummy tuck and fat transfer to her booty. I had a back lift, an extended breast lift, and implants. So we want to film a Q&A. So if you have any questions for us, leave them down in the comments. Questions for me, questions for Amy, questions for both of us. If you want to know about why we went to Tijuana, Mexico for surgery, the cost, the good, the bad, the ugly, let, leave it down in the comments because we're going to film a Q&A when she's here. And then we're planning on going to dinner with Troy and we're just going to have a busy, busy packed weekend because she's not been to Arizona. So I want her to see everything she can see. So I'll post pictures in my Facebook group, on my personal Facebook page and on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there, but leave any questions you have for us Q&A related down below. Couple other updates, uh, Lola, you guys know that Tori found that small little lump in her neck. Well, she actually went to the oncologist a week ago yesterday 
and we got some other news at the oncologist. I'm not quite ready to share it yet because she's actually going back again this next Tuesday, two weeks later, to get the final verdict, essentially, of what was discovered during that exam. So I don't want to share everything right now, but what I'm going to ask is that you keep us in your prayers and your thoughts and that you wish good vibes on Lola because the oncologist is concerned about a couple of things. So please keep us in your prayers and your thoughts and send those positive vibes. And I'll definitely update you guys after her next oncology appointment this next Tuesday. So I'll give you an update in a video after Tuesday on kind of where we are with things. But overall, she's doing great. She's eating, she's drinking, she's playing. She still loves her food. So she's doing really, really well, but I wanted to give you just that kind of minor update. Sorry to be so vague in what I'm telling you, but I don't really have answers yet. And I don't want to say anything until I have all of those answers. My eight week cut is officially over on Friday. So I'll be sharing an update in Friday's weigh in video with you on the final cut results. I'm going to be inserting some pictures before I started my cut and after my cut, and we'll go over how much weight I lost. And I'll give you all the details on my cut. Also, a lot of you have been asking, about my protein coffee video where I use the Herbalife protein coffee mix and the Clean Simple Eats. I'm working on that video. It just takes a while to film it. So my goal is to try to have that video out to you this Sunday. I think that's all the updates for now. I think that's everything. So I'll definitely keep you updated on Lola. I'm really excited for Amy to come visit. We, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm feeling back to normal by Thursday. I just finished breakfast and took my vitamins for the day and I'm going to take my fiber gummies. I've been getting a lot of questions on these. Actually, I just had a coaching call yesterday and she was saying she swears by these fiber gummies and I have to agree. These are from the brand Bellway. These are the super fiber gummies in raspberry and lemon. There's so many things I love about these. First of all, there's no added sugar and a lot of gummies on the market have a lot of added sugar. These are actually sweetened with stevia. They're USDA organic. They're effective. These work so well. I've shared that I don't take any fiber supplement before I go to boot camp because we work out outside. There's, an, there's a bathroom, but not a bathroom I want to use at 5 a.m. in the dark in a park. So I don't take any type of fiber until I get home. And my go-to is my Bellway fiber gummies. This is what they look like. They look like cute little raspberries and a serving is three gummies. And that's going to give you four grams of fiber. There's only 10 calories, so zero points on WW. And they are no sugar added, 100% vegan, and again, USDA organic. There's probiotic fiber, so it helps regulate digestion and they are 100% gluten free. I love these. You can see my bottle's almost gone. I take these three to four days per week and they definitely help keep things moving, help keep things regulated, and they will help reach your fiber goal, which is really important during weight loss because fiber, again, keeps things moving and regulated in your body. The probiotics in this are fantastic with the prebiotics in your food for optimal gut health. And again, they just help you reach your fiber goal every day. So I've been loving these. You guys have been asking a lot of questions. Yes, I still take these all the time. My all-time favorite fiber gummy. I will go ahead and link Bellway down below with a discount code for you. Highly, highly recommend. Do you want a special bone? <laughs> yeah, do you? Okay, come on. Well, come on. We are still using the Smart Bones wrapped with real chicken. My dogs really like these and they don't have any rawhide. You guys are so patiently waiting. Can you sit, bud? Good boy. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Lola, can you sit, baby? Sit. Sit. Good girl. So I'm going to take my greens for the day and Clean Simple Eats sent over their new flavor of the Super Greens and Cherry Limeade. You guys know I love Clean Simple Eats everything, including their greens. This apparently is in collaboration with Courtney Cahoon. I have no idea who this beautiful lady is. I'm really excited to try out the new flavor. Their Cherry Lemonade Burn is one of my all-time favorites. So I'm hoping that this gives cherry and gives lots of lime flavor. And then they sent over this cute cup that has cherry cherries and limes on it with a wood lid and a glass straw. So let's try these out. Let's mix up our greens for the day. I do take Clean Simple Eats greens at least three to five times per week. I'm not always the best at getting in my greens. So this helps me get those in. One scoop into my water. And then I just take a frother and just mix those up. I like to add a little bit of ice. All right, so let's taste test the new Cherry Limeade Greens. Cheers. Wow. How did they do that? This has 
zero greens. I don't taste greens at all. There's no grassiness, there's no earthiness. What this reminds me of is cherry limeade Kool-Aid or cherry limeade juice. It tastes just like juice. Wow, way to go, Courtney, because this is incredible. So what's in this is natural cherry flavor, natural lemon lime flavor, natural lime flavor, citric acid, stevia leaf, and malic acid. That's it, so nice, clean greens. All of your superfoods in just one scoop. You get 30 servings in the bag. It says add one serving to 16 to 20 ounces of water. Daily, mix well before drinking. I am shocked. Like. I love all the Clean Simple Eats greens, but this one, hands down my favorite. And if you are averse, if you have an aversion to greens because of the grassiness, earthy, you're gonna love this. This one, in my opinion, has zero greens taste at all. The flavor is spot on cherry lime. Mmm. I'm actually excited to have this. So good, and you're getting in all your greens. I try my darndest to get in my vegetables, but that doesn't always happen. That's why I take a green supplement. And something that tastes this good, yes, please. So I'm excited about this. If you're interested in picking up any Clean Simple Eats product, including the new Cherry Limeade Greens, I'll link it down below with a discount for you, but highly recommend. This is so good it out really quick to run just a couple of errands. I do have a coaching call here in about two hours. So I wanted to get a couple errands ran. I did bring my greens with me. I cannot believe how good these are. I, my mind is literally blown. Like I said, I like all the clean, simple eats greens, but I just can't believe how good these are and how they have zero greens flavor. I, I really don't know how they did it. They're that good. Throw on a sweater because it is only 49 degrees. It's going to be in the mid 70s today, but it's still a little bit chilly right now. And since I'm out and about, I decided to throw on a sweater, but I am wearing flip flops. That's a typical Arizonan for you. But I am actually headed to the post office. I've got to mail off a package really quickly. I am completely out of NyQuil and I feel like I'm still in the stage of my cold where I need NyQuil. So I want to pick up a refill of that. I think I might run to the Dollar Tree. We'll see how time goes. My priority though is the post office and getting some more NyQuil so that I can continue to sleep as good as I've been sleeping. I forgot today was a holiday. So the lovely post office is closed. So we'll have to do that another day this week. I think I'm going to grab a coffee too when I'm out. I'm kind of feeling a Dutch Brother sugar-free white chocolate Americano. All right, next stop is Walmart so that I can grab some NyQuil. All right, when I walked in the door, they have the Premier Protein, the new flavor that I love, the salted caramel popcorn for $29.98. I bought mine off of Walmart's website, but I saw it in my local store, so that's exciting. Oh, I'm so excited for this aisle. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Equate nighttime cold and flu 698 versus 12 bucks so almost half the price and it has the same ingredients next stop a coffee at dutch bros i'm going to get my usual americano with sugar-free white chocolate exciting change of plans this is new to Dutch Brothers. It said on the app that it's only available through February, but I'm hoping that they keep it. This is a protein coffee. Dutch Brothers is bringing in protein coffee. This is the salted caramel protein latte, and then there's a salted caramel mocha protein latte. So what's in here is salted caramel, protein milk, coffee and a caramel drizzle. I did not get the caramel drizzle just to save on some extra calories and points, but it comes in sizes small, medium, and large. Mine's a medium. This has 22 grams of protein, 22 grams, 280 calories, no added sugar. So there's no added sugar. There is 12 grams of sugar. I'll actually pop all the nutritional information here for you, but I was really excited about this. Let's try it because this could be a really easy on the go protein coffee and really although it's 280 calories it has 22 grams of protein so that's pretty good i actually brought a protein bar with me but instead of that we're gonna have coffee with protein oh my goodness that is really good it's thick and decadent kind of like a milkshake oh my gosh it's so thick and decadent the salted caramel 10 out of 10 i taste the coffee this is really really good I want to say it was $6, $7, which is a lot, but that's the price of normal coffees 
at Starbucks or other coffee shops. So considering that there's protein in here, this is really good. This is a great on the go protein option. Way to go Dutch Bros, 10 out of 10. Next quick stop is the Dollar Tree. I'm on the hunt for just a couple of things. So they have all their Easter stuff, um, but it's not gonna last very long. So if you're interested, come and grab it while you can. I am definitely going to take a look. So I got everything at the Dollar Tree. I got some cute little Easter stuff, Easter baskets, lots of Easter candy. I'm going to put together little candy baskets for Julia, my boot camp instructor, and her family, and then my friend Melissa and her two kids. I like to do something for her kids for the holidays. And then I got two of my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner. I'm telling you, this is the best, and it's $1.25. So that is what I grabbed at Dollar Tree. For lunch today, I'm having my pot pie soup that I made in meal prep. Highly recommend this soup is incredible. It's packed with protein, vegetables. It's so creamy and thick and delicious. I love it. One of my favorite lunch recipes I've made in a very, very long time. Look what just showed up. My dossier fragrances for February. If you know, you know. I love dossier. I treat myself to one to two fragrances every single month. What I love about them is they replicate high-end perfumes for much more affordable prices. And I am very much a perfume fragrance lover. And I figure if I can get two fragrances for less than the price of one high-end fragrance, I'm in. And I've been using Dossier now for a couple of years and I really, really love them. They do an excellent job replicating those high-end perfumes. And they're anywhere from about $29 to $49 instead of hundreds of dollars. I love the packaging. It's very minimal, it's very sleek, and I love that the lid is magnetic. I keep a Dossier fragrance in my purse. Because the lid is magnetic, I don't have to worry about it spilling out. So I decided to grab two for the month of February. I wanted some fragrance that gave me spring vibes. I'm ready for spring. So the first one I picked up for the month is Floral Adelaide. And this is a replication of Chanel number no. eight. Now, if you know Chanel, you know how expensive it is. I have smelt this fragrance in store. I love this fragrance, but I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars when I can pick up the dossier version. So the top notes in this fragrance are Adelaide's Neroli Bergamot. So it has that little bit of fruity, sweet top note. Your middle note is Lang Lang, Jasmine, and May Rose, and your base notes are Veveteer, Sandwood, Sandalwood, and Oris. So it has a little bit of that earthy, sweet, fruity vibe, which is one of my favorites. So I can't wait to smell this and compare this to what the actual Chanel. Mmm. Ooh, that smells amazing. I definitely smell the Veveteer and the Sandalwood. You get that earthy note first, and then it's followed with the fruitiness and the sweetness. It smells just like the Chanel. That is so crazy to me. I don't know how they replicate the fragrances so spot on. And then the other fragrance that I picked up for February is Floral Peony. Like I said, I am channeling my inner spring vibes, and this is a replication of Chloe's Chloe Ode perfume. This is a fragrance line that I didn't know much about until I smelt it in store and I really, really loved it, but it is definitely a high priced fragrance. So when I saw that dossier replicated Chloe, I knew that I had to grab it for February. Now the top notes in this one are peony, lychee, and lily. So fruity floral again, love that for spring. Middle notes of rose, magnolia, and freesia. And base notes of musk, cedarwood, and honey. So this is definitely more of a gourmand sweet floral scent. I can't wait to compare this to Chloe. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. The first thing I'm hit with is the honey. Even though it's a base note, that's the first thing that I'm hit with. And then you get this little bit of sweet floral gourmand. It smells so good. I can't believe how this replicates the actual Chloe fragrance. It's incredible. I think I'm going to wear this one today. Also, the packaging of the fragrances is really nice. I've actually gifted Dossier multiple times. It makes a great gift. Love the magnetic lid. Love everything about the brand. I love how I can buy one, two, three fragrances for the price of one high end. Just a way more affordable way to have fragrances in your collection. I'm really excited about Floral Peony and Floral Adelaide's. I do have a 5% off discount code for Dossier. You can actually piggyback that with any other discount on their website, so I'll link it down below but I'm gonna be smelling, I'm gonna be smelling really good for the month of February. Are you waiting?
Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> oh, Palmer. Tell Daddy say, throw me the ball. Woo! Good cat. Daddy. Lola, you gonna get Palmer when he comes back? Do you wanna get him? You wanna get Palmer? Yeah, you're gonna get him. Get him. Yes, I know. Get Palmer. Get him. Get your crazy brother. Yes, get your crazy brother. Yes, I know. So for an afternoon snack, I'm gonna make a snack plate. I had a little bit lighter lunch with the pot pie soup. Got in a lot of protein, but lighter in calories for lunch because I really wanted a snacky afternoon snack. So here's what I'm going to do. Half of a serving of the Snickerdoodle almond. So that's 14 almonds or 14 grams. I'll go ahead and weigh it out on my food scale. That's much more accurate than counting out 14 almonds. And then I have this beef jerky that I bought when I was in Atlanta. This is sweet picante. It is so, so incredibly delicious. I'm going to have an entire serving of that, which is going to give me about 14 grams of protein. One Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge. I'm going to do pepper jack. And then I'm going to have half of a serving of pretzel crisps. I'm going to dip my pretzels in my cheese and that is going to be technically five and a half crackers or 14 grams. So again, I'm going to weigh out 14 grams on my food scale, pair that with the cheese, and then I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup of blueberries just for a little something sweet on the snack plate. All right, here is my snack, my beef jerky, laughing cow cheese, half a serving of pretzels, a quarter cup of blueberries, and half of a serving of the snickerdoodle almonds. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for dinner tonight, I'm making a one skillet or one pan pasta dish loaded with veggies. This is going to be a one skillet, cheesy ground turkey, chicken, beef, whatever you wanna use, pasta. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First up, you're going to need some baby spinach, chicken broth, fresh basil. I'm going to do 93% ground turkey because that's what I had on hand. Parmesan cheese, grape tomatoes, some type of marinara of your choice. If you're following Weight Watchers, I would recommend a zero point marinara. I'm going to be using Rayos, this is my favorite. Light mozzarella cheese, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, a red onion, and then pasta of your choice. I'm going to do fiber gourmet. You already know, this is our favorite pasta. I love it, Troy loves it. It actually is 48% less calories than traditional pasta, only 110 calories per serving, which is half of what's in normal pasta. So it's only three points per serving, and it's 24 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein. So I love Fiber Gourmet. You cannot tell the difference. It tastes just like regular pasta. I buy mine off of Nutrition. They have the biggest variety and the best price. Speaking of Nutrition, they actually just came out with Fiber Gourmet lasagna noodles. How amazing is that? I bought them. We'll be using them in a future video. So definitely check out Nutrition. I'll link it with a discount down below for you. So the first thing we're going to do is get our turkey or chicken or beef, again, whatever meat you're using. Go ahead and get that browning in a Dutch oven. Mine is from Caraway. I love my Caraway cookware so much. I'll link it for you if you're interested, but I'm using their Dutch oven. So I'm going to get this turkey browned. Once your meat is completely browned, we're going to add in our tomatoes. I went ahead and chopped them in half. Also, the diced up red onion. I only did about a third of that onion because it was a huge one. Italian seasoning and some salt. And we're going to allow this to simmer until our onions are soft and our tomatoes are kind of breaking apart. I am going to go ahead and omit the spinach uh, because Troy can't have spinach right now because of his thickness of his blood. So I'm going to omit that, but that is part of the recipe. I also forgot to tell you that you'll need some whole milk. So we'll add that next, but I am going to add in my entire box of pasta, one cup of marinara, two cups chicken broth, and one half cup of whole milk. Go ahead and give that a quick stir. Just make sure your noodles are in the liquid. I'm going to pop the lid on this and allow this to simmer for about 12 minutes or until the pasta is cooked completely through. Once your pasta is cooked, we're going to add in our basil. I'm going to save just a tiny bit to top our pasta with. 
Go ahead and stir that in, allow that to wilt down for just a minute or so. This is also when you would add in spinach if you were using spinach. And then we're going to add in half of a cup of mozzarella cheese and stir that in as well. And once that is melted, our pasta is ready to go. So I'll go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. This looks so good. It smells amazing. It kind of reminds me of a vodka sauce with that whole milk in there. I topped it with a little bit of fresh basil and about half a tablespoon of fresh fresh Parmesan cheese. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have one of these two good remixes. I actually shared these in my grocery haul. Told you guys I would give you an update. Spoiler alert, there's only two left. They're really, really delicious. It's kind of like the Chobani Flip, but the two good version, so much less calories, sugar, more protein, six grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein, and it has the little granola that you just top the yogurt with. This one is blueberry almond oat crisp. So it says blueberry base with honey, praline, roasted almonds, and cinnamon oat crisp. They're all delicious. The banana, the strawberry, love them. So I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to have two of my Alyssa oatmeal bites for some added protein and fiber. That way I get yogurt and cookie vibe. I mean, what's a better dessert than that? today's what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Definitely recommend that Dutch Brothers protein coffee if you can grab it before the end of the month. I will link Dossier, Bellway, everything I shared with you down below along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my Facebook group, my recipe website where you will find tonight's dinner recipe. It'll all be in the description box for you. Happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next one.